Hello everybody, Carolyn here. Today I'm doing another face video with some b-roll. I don't know why I'm more into this kind of like format for informative videos recently, but I just feel like it makes a lot more sense than just you staring at my blank desk for like a minute. Today, as the title suggests, we're gonna be talking about all of the mini binders that are super popular in the K-pop community. So we're gonna go through three different kinds of mini binders today, technically, four because we're going to be talking about both sizes of the beyond d binder so we're going to be talking about both sizes of beyond d the composition um a5 binder and also um one of the newest additions to my binder collection is the my collection prism platinum binder so we're going to talk about them all and then at the end of this video i will let you know which one is my favorite of the three and yeah we're gonna go through the positives and negatives of all three of these binders so i'll leave timestamps down below if you're only interested in one of the kinds of binders definitely check that out but i do encourage you to check out all three of these binders when deciding which mini binder to get for your collection because you might be surprised on which one you like also before we move further um i hope everybody has a fun beverage with them it is a new year but I am still a oat milk matcha boba girly. Not much has changed here, as you can see. So first, before we get into any of the binders, I'm gonna talk about why you should have an A5 binder as opposed to the classic A4 photo card binder and the nine pocket sleeves. And again, this is all personal preference. This entire video is my personal preference, but I've been collecting photo cards for literally like too long. <laughs> So, so I have a lot of opinions about supplies I use and things and I feel like a lot of people always ask me questions about like the supplies that I use so thus this video was born. So when I was first getting into A5 binders I decided to make the switch from everything being an A4 to some collections being an A5 mostly because some collections just don't look good in nine pocket sleeves or at least the collections the way I collect them don't look good in nine pocket sleeves. Specifically, I love TXT, but I only collect Yeonjun. And a lot of the times they have like three or four cards or two cards. And I just feel like having Yeonjun in an A5 binder just makes so much more sense. If I was someone who collected say OT5 for TXT, putting OT5, TXT, and an A4 doesn't make sense because there's five members unless you were like gonna keep your bias separate and then have the other four members and the other four pages i love some of my collections in nine pocket sleeves and you will never ever ever see me move them to four pocket sleeves or six pocket sleeves just because it just i just don't like it like that but yeah i started using these mostly for my smaller collections like my espa collection i only collect winter's photo cards for txt i only collect yunjun except for that one time that i collected the entire target set for txt but we don't need to talk about that <laughs> and i just think that it's really nice because i don't collect a lot of stuff outside of album releases i don't collect anything outside of album releases for txt so it made it really easy for me to not feel like i needed more stuff like i needed pobs for them or i needed lucky draws for them because honestly i don't feel like i need that as part of my collection i would rather spend my money on pobs for my ultimate groups and TXT is not an ult for me so it just made a lot more sense to have them in a mini binder like this and as you can see there is still so much room in the mini binder for my collections to grow one of the things that I was really worried about when I started collecting in a five size binders was that I was gonna run out of space super quickly and I was gonna end up with like 20 a5 binders I've moved a couple times in the past couple of years and fun fact i'm actually not moving next spring now i've decided to stay in this apartment so you'll be seeing this apartment for a little longer and i'm really excited not to move because moving all of my binders was the worst <laughs> if you guys have if you guys saw my recent room tour you know that i have a lot of photo card binders and i just was not excited about moving them all again so i definitely think using a5 binders saves you space i also like how you can customize the covers a little bit I don't know about you guys, but I am not a creative girly. I am not an artistic girly. <laughs> one of the things that scares me about decorating an A4 binder is that there's just so much space. Whereas I feel like I feel like this would look good on an A4 binder too, like the little decoration I did for Yeonjun here. But I don't know. I just I just like decorating A4 binders a lot more. I just feel like there's a lot less pressure personally, and you don't need to decorate your binder fronts. I'm just extra as hell, so that's why I do that. Another thing I really like about having A5 binders is when I went to Monsex's tour this past um, 
summer. Had a bunch of photo cards to bring to a friend and I brought some photo cards to put in top loaders and I knew that my friend, I had joined a couple of her group orders, I was picking up some cards from her. Um, so it was really easy to travel with this. I just stuck this in my backpack and um, had all of my cards secure instead of just like, I don't know what the alternative would have been, just having a bunch of photo cards. Um, it was really light, didn't add any weight to my suitcase or anything. Um, and my photo cards were secure for the duration of my traveling experience. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into each individual kind of binders now. And like I said, I'll leave timestamps down below if you're only interested in my review of one type of binders. So the first type of binder that I'm going to be reviewing is the Beyond D binder. Obviously, I've been holding this binder for a couple minutes now, um, but this is the Beyond D A5 standard size binder. There's two different sizes of Beyond D binders. Um, so we'll also be talking about this binder here momentarily, but let's start with the classic Beyond D binder since this is what most people use this size. Not a lot of people use the wide binders currently. Positives for the Beyond D binder. I love the look of them i feel like they could be really simple or you can make them as like colorful and pretty as you want um you basically have a blank slate when you first get a beyond the binder I have the little sticker here at the bottom you can use to decorate that goes in this little hole here or you don't have to use anything at all. I just feel like the possibilities are endless with this and i love seeing what people do with their beyond the binders because there's just there's just so much room for personalization and so much room to decorate it and just like make it your own. Um, so I feel like nobody's like A5 binders for Beyond D look the same. And I personally love that because I love when people put their own little like flair on their collections. Like I think it's really fun. Another positive, like I mentioned earlier with the Beyond D binder is that I feel like I am a lot less pressured to expand my TXT collection. I'm very happy with the four pocket pattern that I have here. A smaller collection looks so, so good in an A5 binder and it doesn't make me feel like I need more things to make the page look good. Like the page looks great with just like Yeonjun's photo cards. Beyondi also comes with a, I don't know if you can really see it, but there's a hole on the side here. So if you wanted to add like a charm or something, it would be really easy to do so. So another way you can add like a little artistic flair. I don't have little chain on my um, Beyond D binders, but I would like to do that this year or do something to the spines this year just to make it easier to figure out which binder is which when I'm looking at my shelf because um, it's really hard to tell. I also really, really like how Beyond D has, well, this isn't a Beyond D brand, but Amnifa has four pocket sleeves, which is just another Japanese brand. Um, has four pocket sleeves that fit standard size sleeves, so you don't need to own both the Japanese size sleeves and the standard size photo card sleeves. If you're somebody who doesn't want to spend a ton of money on a ton of different supplies, you can just get the Amifa sleeves um, and the Beyond D binder and then just stick with the same standard sleeves. Um, especially if you're just transitioning to using an A5 binder and you're not sure if you like the setup yet or incorporate some A5 binders into your collection, it's really nice to have the Amifa sleeves because you don't even have to buy new photo card sleeves. So yeah, let's get into some negatives for Beyond D. So the first negative is one of the positives as well. If you're not a super artistic person and you want to have binders that just look good without you really having to do anything to them because you're like me and you're not really an artsy girly, it's fine, I get it. <laughs> it it's really not the best choice just because you're gonna have a blank photo card binder and if it's something that bothers you, then you're just gonna feel like pressure to buy all those art supplies and make it look nice. Personally, I'm pretty happy with like minimalistic designs on my photo card binders. Um, but if you're someone who doesn't really have a lot of like card stock hanging around or you don't wanna buy a bunch of extra stuff to decorate your binders, um, this might not be the best choice for you. Also, Beyond D binders, when you first get them, have this string on the front, and I have never personally experienced this, but when I first started using um, Beyond D binders, a lot of people told me, remove the string because it will bend the pages, and I can see how that would be possible. I have never seen that actually happen to anybody, but I did remove mine just to be on the safe side. Um, these binders also don't stay closed. I mean, they're fine on my like mini shelf I have on my desk. Um, but if you're someone who wants it to like stand or be able to like 
have it securely closed for whatever reason. Yeah. Another thing that I noticed about Beyondy more than the other binders that I use is that when I close the binder, it doesn't tend to sit as well. Um, as you can see on the back here, this back page, which is, this is literally just cardstock that I got at Michael's and I cut it to the correct size. Um, but it does, it has bent a little bit. Continue with Beyondy, let's talk about the wide binder. A lot of the things that I just mentioned about the standard edition hold true to the wide binder. I love the wide binder. It holds a six member group so well. So if you collect a six member group, you collect three members of a group, or if you even collect two members of a group, but they just say have a lot more photo cards, I definitely recommend this. Um, I use this for my IVE collection. I get questions on this binder literally all the time. Beyond D binders are pretty easy to find internationally. There's a lot of stores these days that do sell Beyond D binders. Um, that are located within the US and Canada and Europe, for instance. There's a lot of Instagram shops, and so I feel like it's pretty easy to find them. This one I got off of G Market and I sent it to my Korean address and shipped it with a bunch of my stuff, but I've definitely seen them before on Amazon. I've seen them before on different in different Etsy shops. So yeah, I definitely love this binder a lot, and I have three more literally in my closet. <laughs> it's still um, like everything I just said still holds true. Also, the thing I don't like about this size is that Amifa has not made six pocket sleeves that fit this binder. And I, I really want larger six pocket sleeves. So if you buy the A5 wide, you need to have the Japanese size sleeves because I, for the life of me, have looked everywhere all over the internet in multiple countries and I cannot find any six pocket sleeves that fit standard size sleeves. So if you know of any, please let me know because I really want some. But yes, overall, love my little eye binder. I'm gonna be starting a new one soon for their um, Japanese 11 era forward because this one is full. I feel like it holds about the same amount of pages as the standard size, um, but obviously it holds more cards because it's a bigger binder and you can hold six cards on a page as opposed to the four. Also beyond the both sets of pages, um, are double-sided so if you wanted to double-side your cards you could but I like seeing the backs of my cards so the next binder we're going to talk about is one that took the k-pop community by storm last year and it's the composition book binder and at first I was like why would you want this and now I'm like literally obsessed with it <laughs> some good things about the composition binder is I just feel like these overall are a lot more sturdy than the beyond D binders they hold their shape a lot more and I don't often find that the pages are bending or anything. This one is definitely not as full as it could be, which is great because I would like to have this for at least a couple of eras for pobs for stray kids, but you can see that there is a ton more room here on the binder. I also still have my string on my composition binder. It comes with a string on the front as well because I feel like it doesn't touch the pages at all and I don't have to worry about any bending or anything. So it definitely keeps everything together a lot more. I don't feel like it's a lot heavier than the Beyond Divider. It might be like a little heavier because it's a little thicker and a little sturdier, but overall these are about the same size and weight. So if you're looking for a small binder that has more of a structure to it, I definitely recommend the Composition Book Binders. These come in a lot of different colors. So I use two of them in my collection currently and so i have a pink and i have a blue one so i can look at the spines and be like oh the pink one is my accident pop collection so it does make it really easy to just like grab it off of my shelf when i'm filming a sorting photo card video or i just need to do something in this binder i also don't feel like you need to decorate it because it just looks good on its own um, as you can see i did do a little decorations on the front here just to show that this is my accident collection but I honestly think they look good without any decoration. So if you're just looking for something that's like aesthetic and simple, um, you won't have to do any work to it. The composition binder is definitely a really, really good option. Something I don't like about the composition binders is for some reason, I just feel like they don't hold as much as the Beyond D binders. And I don't know if that's true or if it's just like my brain. Maybe it's because I have like lucky draws sometimes in my um, composition binders and I don't in my Beyond D binders, but I just feel like 
they don't hold as much. I also feel like it would be really, really hard to do um, the kind of design that is on like the spider. I mean, you could, you could do it as like a little sticker thing where you like put some stickers of your bias or like small pictures of your bias. But if you like the look of kind of just one picture in the middle with some stickers and decorations around it, you can't really do that with the composition notebook binder. But yeah. Also, um, something I've noticed about this that I haven't noticed about Beyond D, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see this. I might have to do like a close up of it, but um, the rings do make indents on the front cover of my binder. And as you can see, this one is like not super full. So it's not like it's overfilled or anything, but I have seen it um, make some indents on the front cover of this binder. So that is just something to be aware of. It hasn't affected my cards at all, but just something to be aware of. These binders are available internationally, but they are a lot more difficult to get than Beyond D, I feel like. I feel like when I first got into the composition binders, I had a really hard time finding the colors that I wanted. And that might be because I kind of got into them like the same time everybody else was getting into them. So maybe they're a little easier to find now, but I still feel like they're a little more difficult to find. And also I wish I was able to find more colors because I feel like every single time I've tried to, <laughs> to find like more composition book binders, they're all the same colors are in stock. So I have a blue one, a pink one, and a black one, like the black, of this design one. I know there's also like a checkered one, but haven't been able to find that one yet, though I would like to own that one as well. These only fit like four cards per page, so there is no equivalent to the A5 wide binder for Beyond D, um, which I think would look weird anyway. It's like I don't recommend that they make one like that. Yeah, um, Luca Lab does have their own website though, so I ended up buying through the Luca Lab website and having them shipped to my Korean address and then again shipped from my Korean address back to the states here. Shipping for them can be really really expensive and some stores have them for a decent price but I feel like they only stock a limited quantity of them and so they can be kind of difficult to get your hands on again because they're so popular and not as many places are making them. So definitely Beyond D is easier to find, but again, it's up to your personal preference. Finally, we're gonna talk about the My Collection binder. So this is by the company Prism Platinum. Prism Platinum is a K-pop fan owned company. Um, they're actually an army and they're based out of Australia. So the other two stores that I just mentioned are like Japanese, Korean um, shops. I'm not sure if Beyond, I think Beyond D is Korean. Lukalai is also Korean. Um, this one is based out of Australia, so the only place you can get my collection binders is from the Australian site, um, which makes it difficult for someone like me living in the United States who wants these binders because um, shipping was very expensive. Um, they're also a pretty new shop. I'm not sure how long they've been around for, but I probably discovered them about six months ago. Um, and finally ordered a binder from them, I don't know, maybe like three months ago. So I have two Prism Platinum binders. I have lots to say about Prism Platinum. <laughs> so first of all, I think that the concept of Prism Platinum itself is amazing. I love seeing K-pop fans take things into their own hands and create custom binders and stuff for K-pop fans because I feel like a lot of photo card supplies out there is made more for like Pokemon collectors and baseball collectors. At least a lot of stuff sold in the United States is very focused on those two communities. It's definitely shifting more towards K-pop fans as photo card collecting becomes more popular, but I just love how this was designed with photo cards in mind. Um, not that I don't think the other two were, but I think that these both like, this one can be used more like a journal I've seen it used as, and then this one I've seen used as just like a little photo album for like pictures of your cat or like stickers, like holding stickers as well. I've seen that used for, but Prism Platinum, I feel like this is made for K-pop photo cards. And at first when I got into Prism Platinum, their company seemed very focused on like selling BTS sized merch, which is like the origins of this binder was for BTS um, merchandise, but I think it's become a lot more like diverse because, um, you know, I see a lot of people use it for their BTS collection, but I feel like they also make a lot of great size stuff for other collections and for other collectors. So I really, really like 
that shift that the company has taken. Yes, so a couple things about this binder is that first of all, I love the size of this binder. I feel like if you're not a fan of the A5 size binder, but you don't want an A4 binder, this is a great in-between option. It is small enough that you could travel with it. It's a little big to travel with, but um, like you just stick in your backpack or something, but definitely not impossible. Um, my favorite part of it is the magnet on the side. Actually, this is a B-grade binder. Um, because when I tried to buy an A-grade binder, they were all sold out. And the B-grade binder is supposed to have a weaker um, magnet, but this one is still very strong. So I love how the cards are protected from all sides. So when I first was setting up my Beyond you binder, this one I use for my Jin Tour cards, which is the main reason that I bought this binder in the first place is because their sleeves custom made for larger larger items but they also make sleeves that are normal photo card size too so that's really nice it doesn't hold as much as i originally thought it was going to so i feel like i ran out of pages really quick and for a group like bts that just like has so much stuff like <laughs> like literally has so much stuff because one they're They've been around for a long time and two, they release a lot of merchandise, a lot of DVDs, a lot of tour photo cards, a lot of special merch photo cards and stuff. So um, I thought that this was kind of a small size, but they did actually just announce like literally two days ago that they're coming out with a larger binder. And I'm really excited to get my hands on one because I, let me just show you. This is my just normal like BTS album photo cards binder. And I don't collect a crazy amount for Jin. Like I literally collect like, well, I've collected a couple of G7 sets, but I literally collect like, like the basic stuff for him. And this was completely filled. <laughs> and while BTS are going to be in their military era the next couple of years, and I'm not too concerned about this growing that much, it did make me kind of sad that I couldn't fit my entire collection in the same binder. And I was like, I don't know if I really want a third Prism Platinum binder um, because I already like have a separate one for this one. And it was one of those things where I was like, oh, how many binders am I gonna end up with? But I am super excited to try out the larger binder. Um, it has three D-ring pages, but it's the same size as this binder. I'm just so curious about it. <laughs> like I really, really cannot wait to get my hands on one and I'll do a little like review for you guys when I do. Um, I'll do it as like a short and a TikTok. I was kind of bummed about this because I was like, oh, this is already so full. A positive about Prism Platinum that's also kind of a negative is how thick their pages are as well. I feel like when you're looking at like Amifa or Beyondi or Luca Lab, their pages are not nearly as thick as the Prism Platinum ones, but I also really like it because it just, they just feel so like high quality to me and they just feel like they're doing a really good job protecting my cards, which again, like this is what happens when a K-pop fan is in charge of making the supplies for the photo card collection. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to explore Prism Platinum a little more. They are the newest um, photo card binder that I have in my collection, but I'm excited for them. And also they stand up so nicely by themselves on my desk. I didn't have to worry about finding a way to get them to stand up on their own. They literally stand up on their own. And also if you were to put them on like your shelf with your like albums, they blend in so well. So that's also a really nice option. But yeah, these are just like an an amazing, amazing product. And I'm like really obsessed with them. <laughs> to be honest, like really obsessed with them. Besides the fact that I feel like the binders are too small for what they were intended for originally. But with this new binder coming out, I'm excited to like put my gin collection in there because I know that it's gonna hold everything. So yeah, that is my thoughts on all three of the binders. Now let me tell you which binder is my personal favorite. Like I said, there's a lot of positives and negatives to every single binder that I talked about, but I think after exploring different mini binders and stuff, I definitely feel like my favorite is the Beyond DA5 wide binder. This is literally like the love of my life, this binder. <laughs> I literally love this binder so much and I'm so excited to like add more of these into my collection this year. But yeah, I think all of these binders are so great in my collection and I definitely don't plan on getting rid of any of these kinds of binders. I think they all have their positives and negatives to them, but I don't know, I just, maybe I just love my IVE binder. Maybe I just love my IVE collection <laughs> and that's why I'm saying this, but yeah, I definitely really, really love 
all of the binders I talked about today. Um, definitely let me know in the comment section down below if you've used any of these binders, what your thoughts on them are. Um, I think that would be a really good tool and resource for anybody who comes across this video who has never purchased any of these binders um, and is looking to buy one for the first time. I'll also leave links to um, places you can buy all of these binders in the comment section down below or in the description box down below. None of these are affiliate links. I was not sponsored by any of these companies. This is just a true honest review as someone who really values their photo card collection and just wants the best for their photo card collection. So yeah, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. I know it was a little different than what I normally post on the channel, but um i hope you found this really helpful i wanted to make a really good like resource for you guys so like i said leave your thoughts about all these binders in the comment section down below for other people to read through and look at and decide what they want for their collection and yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you very very soon Bye bye